what's up? Welcome to Adobe's Learn From The Pro series. My name is Chris Trini and I run a production company here in LA as well as a channel here on YouTube called Crisco Art that covers everything and anything that I love about filmmaking. And today we're talking about something that might not be the flashiest topic, but it is super crucial and that I think is a must have in your social media strategy. We're talking about captions, subtitles, and you've probably seen them in you know, Instagram ads or just posts on Facebook. And there's a reason why they are used so much and there's a reason why they're so important. So for one, it's super important to give as much access as possible to your content. And that could be from someone that doesn't speak English if your content is in English. And so subtitles could help in that way. Or maybe someone that has some hearing impairment or anything of that nature. Uh, accessibility in those terms is super crucial but also it, it is great for engagement when it comes to scrolling and when it comes to social media and sharing clips, having subtitles, captions is super, super important. But that aside, we're actually gonna take a look at how to do that very easily in Premiere Pro. And uh, there's actually a few new features that are pretty mind blowing that literally translate your speech directly into text. And then on top of that, Premiere Pro's captions feature is super powerful. It literally allows you to even customize the text and really make it fit to your project. So we're gonna take a look at all of that and more in Premiere Pro right now. So to create captions, it's gotten incredibly easy. So there's a whole workspace dedicated to it. So under the presets here, we're gonna select captions. This is gonna open up this window to the left here where we have a few options. We can create captions manually or we can import some and I'm gonna choose to create them manually for this example. There's a bunch of formats, but let's just stick to subtitle for now and uh, we can go ahead and create it by hitting okay. So now we can add some text. Now the way I'm gonna do it is by going on this plus icon here. So we can type in whatever we want and we can see that, that as we're typing, we can see it in our program monitor. And you can see that it's also specifying the time code that it is in and how long the duration of the clip is. So this is super useful because you can see that in the timeline, it actually generated a subtitles track where we can move around and select each portion of our subtitles. And this is great because I can easily uh, move things around and really place them exactly where they're being spoken. And so you can see that the time code also changes and is reflected in my captions window. So just as we did with the first one, I can add another string of subtitles by hitting the plus button again, and it will automatically generate it right after the previous subtitle. So now we have two lines of dialogue, which is great, but it doesn't look too great. So let's take a look at how we can customize the look font size all that good stuff which has now gotten really powerful and simple so when I select a subtitle I can go on the right here and it's gonna allow me to access to the library of presets and templates that Adobe has for text files in general but I also have a full range of controls to really customize this just as any other text in Premiere Pro so I can change the font I can change the tracking of the letters add a background, all of the usual stuff that you would expect with a text element. And you can also reposition this in the portion of the screen that you want the text to appear in. And what's really nice is that you can also save this as your own uh, custom style that you can apply for this project or a bunch of other projects in the future since it generates a file that you can then import later or select for any kind of subtitle style so that's super awesome because you can also see that the changes are automatically reflected in all of the subtitles all at once so you don't have to worry about changing the style over and over for each one and an important and useful distinction is that if you use the essential graphics panel, you can apply changes to segments of your captions. And if you use the text styles, it actually applies to the entire track. Now let's go ahead and delete that subtitles track. And this time I'm actually going to import a subtitle file. So usually these will come in a .srt format so I can navigate to where I have saved uh, a subtitles file and I can simply import it. And in my case, I can leave everything as is and you can see that it brought in a bunch of uh, subtitles that in my case were actually generated by uh, a company that does subtitles for me. And so once I get the file back, I can either use that to upload it to the YouTube video as a captions file, or I can use it in Premiere to generate hard-coded subtitles in the actual clip that's going out to social media. 
And of course, you can also save uh, the subtitles generated in the timeline, which makes a little bit more sense if you did them manually. You can actually export this into its own .srt file. Mm -hmm. All right, and that brings us to the end of this video. Like I said, it wasn't the flashiest title and topic, but uh, I guarantee you that if you start to incorporate adding captions and subtitles into your content, into your social media strategy, you're gonna see a big difference when it comes to engagement. And, and so I highly recommend that you do that. And I hope that some of the techniques and some of the ways of adding captions that you saw in this video are gonna be helpful to you. Make sure to subscribe also to Adobe's channel since there's a ton of other great content coming up, including two more videos that we're gonna be doing together. And the next one you definitely don't wanna miss because it's gonna be all about color correction and color grading, which is, I don't have to say how important it is, to also give you a professional look to your edits. So definitely tune into that. But with that being said, I hope you enjoyed this video. My name is Chris Trini, and I will see you in the next one.